Celtics at Pistons. Junior Brown back with NBA Shot Clock on this Friday, March 22nd with another free pick. We're rocking with the Celtics team total in the first half, over 61 and a half. Just get right down to business. Uh, I don't feel comfortable laying 13 and a half points on the road here. Obviously, the Celtics are on a whole different level, but you got to be careful with the Pistons because even though they only have 12 wins, in terms of covering spreads, they're 34 and 34. I, I just don't feel comfortable laying 13 and a half points with a team that covers 50% of their spreads. That being said, this is what you can rely on in this game. The Celtics offense. The Celtics average 63 points per first half. This total is 61 and a half. And that's both home and away. They average 63 points per first half. Since the All-Star break, the Celtics first half uh, offensive rating on the road has been insane. 133 per 100 possessions, which is a number that's so high it doesn't even really make sense. The Pistons on the flip side have been a minus 12 at home in the first half. So I'm going by the trends. I'm going by the fact that since the beginning of the season until now, the Celtics have been the best first half team both home and away. It is the most consistent thing about their team, which is why their margin of victory is usually so high. I just don't like laying 13 and a half points when I don't know who's going to play because it does appear a couple of the Celtics starters are going to sit out. So give me the Celtics first half team total over 61 and a half. Let's cash yet another ticket, y'all.